The curtain went up last night on the 16th annual Winona Home and Community Options Summer Production. Fiddler on the Roof opened on St. Mary's University's Page Theater main stage after uh, months of preparation. We've uh, done the musical for this is our 16th year. Uh, we've done a lot of classical music, musicals over the years and uh, Fiddler on the Roof is a new one for us and we're excited about it. A lot of the clients have been in the productions for several years now. They have developed and they're doing a very good job and they're excited to be here and it's very good for them. For directing the ATO show it is really a year-long process. Um, we start meeting in September and October starting to work through to, um, picking a show and we talk about what roles are available for clients, what roles will be available for kids, because that's part of the mission of the show, is to have them all involved. Um, once a show is picked, then you start getting on board with the scene designer. Who, um, I usually meet with Steve in December to go over his plans for the stage so we can make any changes that I might see that we need to have. Um, meeting with Jen to go over which songs, uh, Jennifer DeBeast, our choreographer, to know which songs is she gonna do the choreography for and which songs I'm gonna work with. Um, and then just we'll start, once we start getting the cast together, you know, start just basic blocking to the stage until we actually get to move up to St. Mary's and put everything together. We start building sets in February. Uh, actually, when we leave here next Tuesday, we'll start thinking about next year's show. Uh, pick a show, get the rights, and then start building in February. And then once the sets are built, then we get enough talented artists in town to, to paint them the way we need them. And it takes a village, literally, to build a village. We've got... Uh, two or three hundred volunteers easily in the course of a year that help us help us out. Once you have the cast in place, it's about a two-month process from that point on. I'm working through the songs with Harry Michelle as well. Um, working through the songs, the blocking choreography, and putting it all together. Um, but it's really neat having uh, such a varied cast um, as this show really gets. Right now we're a little nervous because it's opening night, but by now the most of the bumps are gone. Uh, the biggest challenge is getting the same people to move the same sets every night. and getting here early to repair things that get damaged. And so far that's worked really well. The neat thing about working with this type of show as opposed to other ones is the fact that you have such a wide variety and mix of people. Um, and it's the joy to see the clients on stage. Um, this is one of those things that they look forward to all year long. It's a unique experience for them. They don't, oftentimes don't have the same type of, or same level of show or the same type of people to work with. So this is really a highlight for a lot of them for their year. We work hard on uh, support from our community through patrons and sponsorships. And uh, our goal is to make about $60,000 after all expenses. And those proceeds are used for home and community options to meet unmet needs. Uh, we have a new program for autistic children that we're uh, dedicating a lot of funds for to help families have access to those services. It's really important that we work with kids early. Uh, we also work uh, with our elder population as they're aging. We need handicapped accessibility needs, uh, equipment and furnishings in the home that help them. Now there are still some tickets available for the Monday night and Tuesday night shows of Fiddler on the Roof. Tickets uh, can be purchased by calling the Page Theater box office. That number is 457-1715.